Clark, where are you? I'm at the park. Hey, babe, I'm almost there. Just hang tight. Clark, it's creepy out here. And it's close to Halloween. Okay, that doesn't help me. Just get here as soon as you can. Okay, okay, I'll be there in a minute. I'm there. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Typical anticlimax. Okay. Nope. Just because you're a pretty young woman in a creepy place alone at night doesn't mean just. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't do that shit again! Oh. Were you paranoid? Of course, I was fucking paranoid. Oh my god! Oh, come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go. So how was your first day of work? It was, uh, it was good. Except I did crash the go-kart. What? Yeah. What happened? It, it was a turn left, and I did a turn right. Clark. Yeah. Really? Your yeah. first day? Yeah. What did your boss have to say about that? Um, well, she was pretty cool about it. I don't even think she's from America. Really? Where is she from? The UK, I think. She's like an English woman. Oh, really? Yeah. An accent and everything. Accent and everything. Oh, so she loves a bit of tea and, um... Crumpets! What's it? Crumpets! Crumpets! <laughs> Crumpets! And she talks like a proper English woman, yeah. is that right? You sound just like... <laughs> I'm working on oh, it. Yeah. I've been watching lots of I'm Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> I think you're my undercover boss. Oh, hey, I am gonna go run to the bathroom really quickly. Oh, come on. That's part of the bathroom. It's really, really dirty. Oh, I know. I'll be right out. Okay. One second. Um, don't use, don't touch anything because of the virus. Use your sweater. Katie? Garcia, thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. Of course, I was on my way out, actually. Anything new with you? No, nothing. <laughs> I keep going back to the park. I've tried flyers, everything. I'm starting to feel like it's all hopeless. Sorry to hear that. Unfortunately, I haven't really found anything new on my end either. And to be honest, I've kind of been thinking I think your sister's gone. Gone? How can you so nonchalantly give up like this? 
Well, it's been six weeks. If, if she hasn't turned up now, I... I don't think she's going to. I don't believe this. Have you given it thought that perhaps Katie killed Clark and took off- Katie wouldn't hurt anyone! People don't just disappear into thin air like this, Garcia. Something else is at work here, and I'm going to figure out what it is. You, you act like nothing happened. Luke, this is Middletown. Serial killers, kidnappers, stuff out of the ordinary, that doesn't happen here. It is Middletown, where nothing happens. Whatever. <laughs> you know, this is what this town is all about. Covering everything up and hiding it under the rug to make everyone feel like they're just quiet and innocent and untouchable. Luke, you're just being paranoid. You know, I'm going to find my sister with or without you, Garcia. Welcome to Clarkson Manor, my lady. <laughs> Thank you, good sir. And we are so overdue for this night. I know. It has been a shit week for you, but we're gonna leave all that out here, okay? Okay. Come on. Phenomenal taste in home decor. Yes, it's it's all in the feng shui. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better start to the weekend. Anything for you, babe. I'm sorry you got let go of your job this week, but we'll see it as not an end but a new beginning. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Why don't you get comfortable, and I'll go grab us a bottle of champagne. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Uh, mind if I use the little girl's room real quick? Sure thing. It's upstairs on the left. Okay. Don't forget to wash your hands. I know. Typical anti-climax. Clark? 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 for Halloween, and it didn't get here till November 1st, so I thought it was overdue for a scare. Well, could you use it for one of your cheap web series or something, and not for giving your girlfriend a heart attack? I'm sorry, babe. 
I heard something outside the window and I know there's no tree. You're just being paranoid. It's probably a bird or something. What if it's the Middletown Monster? That doesn't exist. How do you know? Because. I am the Middletown Monster! Shut up. <laughs> uh. Let's go get you comfortable, and I'll get some champagne. For real this time. Okay, but no more tricks. No more tricks. I cannot believe you went through the trouble of turning off every light in this entire house. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I can't believe you called my web series cheap. No, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Champagne time? Oh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks? Yeah, I think I left the bottle open in the garage. Oh, I'll go get it. I can get it. No, it's fine. I got it. Where is it? Uh, it's on the table stand next to the other bags. Bet. Bet.
and our path back to the Nexus will be wider. What? Wait, this is a real funny prank, but I think that's enough. How'd you get your eyes to do that? Contacts. I possess you, imbecile jock! Oh. Baby? I am not your baby. How did I get here? Katie? Are you in here? It appears we have a visitor. What do you want? You're not... Katie. She's not your Katie. And you're not from here. Indeed, there are other worlds. You have been through the Nexus, and you are going to help me get there.